Blog Talk Radio. I will not yield. I will not rest. I will not relent in waging this struggle for freedom and security for the American people. We cannot let terrorists and rogue nations hold this nation hostile or hold our allies hostile. Freedom itself was attacked by a faceless coward. And we're live on Truth Talks Radio, where everyone's voice has value. Even if I disagree with you, your voice has value. Now we're going to continue our discussion from last night on what does net neutrality mean for me and what does that ruling that happened on January 14, 2014, what does it have to do with me? I wonder. And as always, I am accepting all phone calls. And I need to reply to someone. Whoops. Boy. I don't I think Twitter's all froze up because of the Grammys. Did anybody see the Grammys? Let me go ahead and finish this. Please do. Let's see if I got the right link. Yeah, that's it. He can Skype in or call in. So I learn a lot from all different types. <coughs> Excuse me, a people got choked up there. Now, net neutrality, what does it mean? Now, what I've surmised the what it means so far, and, and I'm quite new to this, I must say, and I'm still doing research at the possibilities that, that this may mean. One moment, I need to take a drink of water. Water, water, water. At least it's not vodka, right? Mm, I love the taste of water. And right now we have a lot of water in the Internet. It tastes good. It's really good. And next year is going to be a whole lot different. There's going to be a drought. So what is net neutrality? Currently, net neutrality, from what I understand, it prevents the Internet uh, from dictating the kinds of content users would be able to access online, meaning the ISPs. Instead, Internet providers are required to treat all traffic sources equally. Why is this topic so controversial that the U.S. Court of Appeals has to weigh in, which it did on January 14, 2014? The background is that Verizon basically sued the FCC and Verizon lost, and so they went to the federal U.S. Court of Appeals to appeal their case. And the decision was overturned, and instead now it's ruled in Verizon's favor. Now, this could go on to the Supreme Court. There is a possibility. However, there's always a twist, isn't there? There is a new head of the FCC. His name is Tom Wheeler. And um, a lot of underground chatter is talking about how he he's choosing not to fight this. And capitalism. It's good for really big con- countries. See, I'm always confusing country with companies because it seems more like our country has become a company with mergers and acquisitions and, and the like. Because um, so the U.S. Court of Appeals, I had to get back to what I was thinking. The U.S. Court of Appeals um, sided with Verizon Because Internet Service Providers, ISPs, like Verizon, AT&T, and Comcast, want to charge for the use of their networks. Um, This is going to cause a problem. Visually, in my mind, when I'm trying to understand all this information, I can see the Internet as a mall. And Verizon and AT&T own this mall. And before they were able to charge the same amount of rent for each plot. A company wanted a plot, so they would buy the plot or or store store space from Verizon, AT&T, what have you, whoever owned this particular mall. 
And before they had to cho- to charge the same for everybody. No one was treated differently, be it small business or big business. Now, with net neutrality out of the, the way, they can choose to charge what they want. I don't know if you're looking at some of my uh, graphics that I put on there, but I think it kind of helps. You know, if you can think of net neutrality as internet equality, that that's a better term. Where we're all equal. You know, it's our declaration of independence in a way. All men are created equal. All sites are created equal. At least they they start from the same playing ground. Now, if you have more money to hire uh, employees for web design, you know, there's some things that you can add to the plot, but the basic price of the plot would be the same. Now, if I'm wrong, please call in and tell me otherwise. But this is a serious discussion. This affects our our livelihoods. Our culture is going to change. A lot of things are going to change if this um, decision by the U.S. Court of Appeals stays. So um, what's going to happen is that these providers will have the ability to pick and choose what consumers see online and then to charge the content providers what they want. Again, if you're just coming in on January 14, 2014, the Federal U.S. Court of Appeals uh, ruled that the FCC does not have the right to enforce net neutrality. This is a little bit of a complex issue, but if I can get it, I think you can. I can get the gist of it. I may not understand all the nuances, but I can get the gist of it. The appeals court stated that although the government is responsible for overseeing crucial utilities like telephone service and electricity, you know, the government's responsible for overseeing those utilities, they're considered common carriers. The Internet is not one of those utilities under the current law. Now, this is key. If they were considered a crucial utility like telephone service and electricity, then they would be covered. I think it is crucial. Hogwash is what I say. And if you're still not able to follow me, let's discuss what neutrality is in another way. Uh, let me check a look at my chat room. And p- please feel free to call in and correct me, or maybe you want to put in your side, your your viewpoint on net neutrality and where we should go from here. That That's really what this is about. Let's see here. One moment. I wrote out some of the things I wanted to say. Because this is so important to me, I don't want to stumble over my words. Now, another way to explain it, the way it works today, everyone is connected to each other through the same level playing field, like I said before. But a handful of phone and cable companies want to change all that. They want to lock down parts of the web and make sites pay for more money to use it. It's like there's going to be a fast lane and a slow lane. And this deals with bandwidth. Everyone else will get the slow lane. How will they do that, you ask? They will They will do this by killing one of the Internet's founding principles, net neutrality. And again, we're going to ask the question, what is net neutrality? And if you're still not sure, I'm kind of not sure. Let's go over this together. We connect to the Internet through pipes owned by the telephone and cable companies. The deal is that they are not allowed to mess with what's inside those pipes, be it Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, Skype, YouTube, I see my caller on hold, um, or any other business such as your local mom and pop business on Main Street. It is as if on net neutrality, the little, poor, (laughs) rich companies seem to not have an advantage over mom and pop. I guess in the U.S. Court of Appeals eyes that This is not fair. The rich companies, of course, should have an advantage over mom and pop companies. They want a big advantage, a monopoly, like Facebook will have a monopoly. This affects you in many everyday ways. Um, I want to finish this, and I'll pick up my caller who has his hand or her hand up. The companies want to set up a restrictive fast lane on the Internet, but only for their partners and services that could pay to use it. Only sites that pay a huge fee would be able to use it. So if you see that graphic 
were um, some people are accustomed to buying a cable package. There's a lot of add-ons like HBO, uh, Stars. You pay extra money for those. It's going to be very much the same. If you buy your Internet service through your cable provider, all of a sudden Skype is going to become an add-on. YouTube may become an add-on. Some of the sites are ready to incur the cost of the add-on, such as Facebook has stated that they will incur the cost. But what does that do to the everyday person like you and I that's used to having the freedom? Okay, I do see I have a caller. I'm going to bring them on. Perhaps they have uh, more knowledge than I do on this topic. Let me bring them on. Skype caller, you are live on Truth Talks Radio. We're discussing net neutrality. Do you have uh, a theory about it, comments? Yeah, um, how you doing? Hi. Um, I don't have... I mean, concrete information on what's going on with with that situation, but I do mm-hmm. know that it was, um, you know, uh, it was going to be seen, or, or it was something that was already planned <clears throat> planned for the future in the sense of um, what access you have to the internet. Um, information that they probably seen uh, is almost like the way when the internet came out. You know they 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 didn't have control o- almost over a lot of stuff. Um, mm-hmm. So as I guess with the, with time and here we are, what uh, I would say about almost twenty something years, right? Where we have hip, uh, we have access to the internet, you know, publicly. Uh, mm-hmm. It's fairly new. I think that they pretty much got got a lot of they seen. This opportunity they've given a lot of it's like for instance, look at Block Talk. Block Talk was free, right? Uh, and in the very beginning after, and they had a blog right. attached to it in addition to the talk show. Right. So it's like everything in the beginning is like uh it's almost like even when you get cable and you get cable you get this great package deal, right? Mm-hmm. They give you the three, the tele the the telephone the internet and the cable TV for cheap for a contract in the very beginning. After they don't give you really nothing. Um, so I think is that it's almost everything to lure you in, and then once they have you, you know they uh, you know they they can play around with it. So I think that now that people are used to the internet, you know having uh, the internet, they um, you know a lot of people will pay for subscriptions. And I think that's what's gonna, where it's going anyway. It's going subscription based. You're gonna have access to basic information for all these websites, whether it be you know things that 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 provide certain mm-hmm. information. And then the rest is gonna have you're gonna have to have access by a subscribe member or you know paying. I mean, I see that they look at YouTube. YouTube right now has a you can view certain stuff. You can pay for it. You know, I mean, right. so everything is becoming paid. It's a hosting site. YouTube is a hosting site. So somebody can put their uh, documentary or what have you on there in charge for it. You can do that. But the main right. thing about this is is that these ISP providers, the the ISPs will be able to dictate what content you will see. They'll be able to put you in the fast lane or the slow lane. This is about um, capitalism. On overdrive, think of Wall Street on steroids, you know, without regulation, which is what we have today. You can see the outcome of that. Now, I personally believe that all knowledge should be free. You know, I believe that all voices hold value. You're going to see a lot of restrictions, especially with the mom and pop businesses that use the Internet. It's sites like YouTube to promote their business. That is... We'll see the end of that. We'll see the end of torrents being downloaded, which is good for some of the artists that that don't want their their work passed around, you know, pi- piracy. But um, you're going to have very little control if you're in the states. Will be compared to some of the Middle Eastern countries that limit their citizens' knowledge of the outside world through the internet. Um, I do see we have someone else. 
that's called in. Maybe they know a little bit more. And this is something 